Bachelorette ruined my friendship. I am not the OOP. OOP is you, Broccoli University. Thanks to you, Direct Caterpillar 77, for suggesting this to Bo are you. Bachelorette ruined my friendship. Originally posted to our wedding. Original post, July 3rd. 2023. This is a long vent. I am the Mo. And organized a weekend getaway for the bride and her bridesmaids and a few friends of hers. Ten people total. None of the girls, including myself, are friends with each other outside of the bride. I had a really hard time organizing this event because in the group chat no one would reply and I was left high and dry for a lot of the decision making. Eventually the same two girls would chime in and would offer to help. About a month ago we made a group chat just the three of us to figure out last minute details of the trip, since we are the only three really involved in the planning. The bride from the beginning has said she didn't want involved in the planning at all. Keep in mind, anyways, the weekend rolls around, and the bride ends up ignoring me most of the weekend. She only spends time with her other friends. I have yet to get any appreciation or thank you from her about the planning. Also keep in mind everyone spent around $1,500 for the Airbnb activities, etc., while the bride paid for nothing. The last day comes and things are tense. I've hung out mostly with the two other girls from the group chat because they're really the only ones I've become closer with. During the bachelorette weekend we used the group chat once to organize a surprise we had set up. For the bride, we had set up decorations and a picture-taking area, a full table spread of cheeses and meats, a custom-made cake, and bride personalized drinks, all which she completely ignored when she saw it. The last night there the other girls got invited to some retired hockey player's house and the cab. Ride is $100 one way to get there. Considering the cost and that it was really not my vibe, I said I'd stay back. And the other two girls I was with most of the time also decided to stay back. The next day when we were packing up to leave things the uncomfortableness was palpable. No one would look at us or talk to us. I was the only one with a truck and the other girls shoved all of their stuff in my car so that there was no room for anyone to drive with me back home. Which was an 8 hour drive. We get back home. We meet at the bride's house and unload my truck. As I'm pulling out of the driveway, the bride runs up to my car and says, I want to see your phone and messages with the group chat with insert names of the two other girls. Quote dot. I say no, that's really uncomfortable and it's invading their privacy. She said fine and walks off and says nothing to me as I leave. From what I've collected and can infer, it probably seemed like myself and the other two girls were cliquey. However, I personally talked with everyone else lots but was getting ignored by the bride. I'm at such a loss. We are adults and I am being asked to share my text with a group of girls that I was asked to interact with outside of the bride in order to organize her bachelorette. And now she's worried we have become friends without her. This is something I've been told explicitly. I want to pull out of the wedding for how poorly I've been treated. She has been a horrible friend. And her asking to go through my messages has been such a breaking point for me. Edit. For those asking, she wanted to see the chat because she said said that she is insecure about me talking with the other girls about her. So she wants to see what is in our group chat. I absolutely had nothing to hide. There is nothing in that group chat. But I said no and told her she can ask the other two girls and then can see it because it's there messages too. It was more of a thing of principle. I don't think you get ownership of your friends and should be allowed to see all their messages. Because you're insecure about them being friends. As well, she hadn't spoken to me the whole weekend and I was feeling very ignored. She had many opportunities to ask to go on a walk with me and talk about this. But instead she had waited until I was backing out of her driveway in front of all of the other bridesmaids.
except the other two from this group chat who had already left. Also keep in mind it was after about an 8 hour drive and I was dead tired and wanting to get home. So either way I wasn't going to sit and have a conversation. I also didn't get what the purpose of seeing a group chat would give. The three of us girls were there in person the whole weekend. If we wanted to talk about the bride we wouldn't have been texting about it. And lastly, the whole reason we had this group chat was to plan the bachelorette because none of her friends ever replied and stuff needed to get done. And the bride has explicitly said over and over and over she wanted no involvement of it being planned. Update September 2nd, 2023. The wedding was yesterday. I didn't go and haven't spoken to the bride since I told her I was dropping out of the wedding too. Months ago, another bridesmaid also dropped out. The third girl mentioned in the original post did go but said she regrets not dropping out. The bride got mad at her for several other miscellaneous things in the few days prior to the wedding. I found out from the other bridesmaid that dropped out that the bride had been talking about me behind my back for the year leading up to the bachelorette and had plans to completely ghost me and cut me off after the wedding. Keep in mind she made me her mo. Big lesson learned is to listen to your gut and do what's best for you. Reminder I am not the original poster. This is so strange. Why have her be the mo if you seemingly hate her guts? Bride is a weirdo. So, what's the over under on how many cheated whilst at the hockey player's house? My friend's wife had friendships implode over a bachelorette party. Bridetobe was her college roommate, and the other ladies attending all went to the same college too. Friend's wife ultimately decided not to go party was in Nashville and she was six months pregnant. She didn't want to ruin the vibe by not being able to drink, or walk, or really do much of anything. Bridetobe exploded and torched the friendship over this. Stopped talking to friend's wife completely. Friend group didn't take sides but all agree bride to be was freaking psycho. I tip the groom about the hockey player's LMAO. I bet those girls cheated at the hockey player's house too LMFAO. Man. Man. I can't explain how happy I am that all the weddings I went to from my friends were all just show up and have fun. Even when I was a bridesmaid to my BFF, she said, I want you to be my bridesmaid. Then, please pick a color for your dress. They need to be different colors. Dark tones. Match the tie from the groomsmen you are walking with. Long. No black and white. Get there before the ceremony. And that was it. I went. Was hit by a door when I was entering was wearing a cardigan when there was a surprise valse. And the groomsmen I was paired with and I learned we don't know how to dance and kept hitting other couples. And we kept being a menace together. She wanted funny pictures. We almost ruined her hair. And then we sat and talked and danced and drank and took pictures. Exclamation mark. And that was it. Sounds like the bride was never a friend, but either got too stressed or too comfortable exploiting Oop and forgot to do the bare minimum pretense, or didn't expect Oop to click with the girls. This is not why she wanted to see the group chat. It's something else. Maybe afraid they chronicled her going to a strange guy's house. I'm not sure. Yeah bride almost certainly slept with someone not her fiancé. I lost a friend over her being the mo to someone else's wedding. She literally asked me for a place to stay in town for the wedding. Then when the time came she ghosted me. After I took the day off work to pick her up from the airport and everything. Not even a phone call. I think the real reason the bride freaked out is she was planning to go stop after exploiting her. And op becoming friends with her other bridesmaids was going to make it difficult for there to be a clean break. 
Well her husband is in for a treat lol. Glad the mo dipped on that Twilight Zone episode. I'd be willing to be a bright shiny nickel that when the bridezilla gets pregnant she'll try to reconcile with oop so she can have a nice baby shower. I assumed something happened at the retired guy's house, and at the bride was making sure the truth didn't come out. There is nobody I like enough, not even my best friend or sister, that I would pay $1,500 to attend their bachelorette. Weddings really do bring out the worst in some people. At least Goop didn't have to sit through the ceremony or be around for the inevitable messy divorce. Is it something cultural of the wedding on USA that bring the worst of the people? What is going on here? Why the wedding are such a big problem and break so many relationships there? I've read too many of these bridezilla posts I will never go to another wedding ever. Why do people do this? Like what's the goal? If you didn't want to be friends anymore just tell them. This has happened to me twice as an adult. I've brought it up in therapy. I was guided that some friends aren't friends and they pretend to be friends to get something out of you. But I'm still working on how to see that type of person from the jump. Luckily, I still have my homies for life. But we're all over the country now. I just hate that some people like to pick up and throw away people on a whim. Good gods. We don't let 12-year-olds get married. Unfortunately there's nothing we can do about people who are of legal age to get married but still. Stuck emotionally at 12. That bride didn't need a bachelorette party. She needed an event appropriate for a middle schooler who needs a little help getting socialized. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.